Okay, so in this video we're going to do a grayscale or a smooth zone uh, Fresnel lens. I call that a diffractive Fresnel lens because it's based on diffraction. I'm going to start with the binary amplitude uh, Fresnel zone plate project that was uh, 601. And um, what we're doing here is, first of all, I'm going to change the name here to uh, smooth phase in the file name there. And I'm going to call it uh, diffractor from the lens. Same wavelength, uh, same focal length. A couple of things. Um, first of all, this is a going to be a, written in positive photoresist, so I have to remove the minus one. I don't need it anymore. And um, we're, I entered the resist refractive index uh, from what we had before. Um, yeah, off the dispersion calculator in uh, video 602. So um, I'm pretty sure I have to change my masking flag, uh, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, if we go back to the Fresnel lens now, uh, the only thing I really need to change is the fact that we're doing a grayscale lens. And what I'd like to do is, um, let's see, this index factor really doesn't matter right now. Uh, we're going to um, this is uh, index factors when we convert to a um, uh, from a sweat model, uh, and we're not using these aspheric coefficients anyway, so we can just basically ignore this part. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just a simple Fresnel lens. So let's just go ahead and calculate that and show you what it looks like. We're not going to save this version. Okay, so now um, let me change that um, to a grayscale. Um, guy here, so you can see this little. Well, you can see it. Little. Okay, so what's happening is it's dark. Oh, yeah, I will change it to this. Thing. All right, so what's happening here is the laser writer is going to be dark here in the center. So, since it's positive photoresist, as the laser power increases here, this is increasing quadratically, then uh, more and more material is going to be removed. So it's going to be a positive lens when it's actually written and developed, although it's kind of a negative lens shape here in the file. So this is not the phase. This is the writing file for the massless lithography tool. Uh, so let's go back into the um, GUI calculator and I'm pretty sure that if I go to calculate, well, first of all, I'm going to save my project. Okay. I'm pretty sure to calculate GLE masters. The mask isn't going to be right. Let me see. Yeah, you see, it's the inverse of the mask. So let's change that. Uh, I don't want to save it. Um, to go in and arrange, I'm pretty sure that the operation at flag, I need to just shoot the opposite. So let's save that and now we'll calculate our master. And there we go. And we can do the same trick where we, oh, and let's say we do want to save it. Uh, so this will be uh, diffractive Fresnel lens. Okay, so and then we can change our color map back to gray. You can see the actual writing file. Yeah. Oops, yeah, there we go. And we can zoom in on it. And that's what we have. So that's it.